the rundown. December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. RIP, our boys in blue. Well, you gotta bring that up off the bat. About I'm blue. respectful to our, they wore blue. The Navy wears so. blue. Yeah, I mean, you right. tell Billy thank you? And white, but did I tell Billy thank you? No, I should. I should. Out. Billy, hey, it's Pearl Harbor Day. I just wanna say thank you for your service. Give us a thumbs up. He's, he's now deployed to Uganda, actually. That's his latest <laughs> tour. Uh, today, we are sponsored by C4 Energy. Looking at it right here. I'm going to crack mine open right now. Uh, energy that hits in the gym on the open field. It is the choice for athletes, gym junkies, and all those who relentlessly seek better performance with better with zero sugar, enhanced endurance, and explosive energy that you can feel C4 and performance energy is the choice for professional athletes like Justin Fields, Garrett Wilson, CJ Stratt, and beyond B. John Robinson. Uh, C4 explosive energy, energy that hits. Find the C4 yellow can at c4energy.com. Find it near you at findc4.com. Uh, I feel like I've been using C4 since high school. It's great. Yeah, also like C4 uh, is hey. partnered up with the Wounded Warrior Project, which is pretty well, cool for Harbor. So that's that's pretty nice of them. So C4. The old me would have asked John Rich about meth right now, but yeah. not the new me. Oh, yeah, well, that's the old for you, Pat. Yeah, Who's I've grown guy? a lot. You really I'm, have. I'm just because I'm genuinely curious. Yeah. What do you want to know? Have you ever smoked meth? Yeah, one time I smoked it. <laughs> well, where? Some shady girl's apartment in nice. Van Nuys up in the valley. Did you spit that? You know, that's a thing that gay guys do. They get all methed up and then they fuck. I, I, I didn't get around to that. All right. Well, any, you didn't anywho. Get, you didn't you, get to that. Anywho. Did you snort yeah. it most of the time? Yeah. Or was it different? It's called Tina on the street. Tina. Was yeah. it better smoking Smoking's or worse? way better. Way Smoking's better. way better. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right into the bloodstream. Seems less scary somehow too. I don't know why, but smoking it. Uh, yeah, wake us. He's doing poppers too. He's like, yeah, I don't know about this gay thing. It yeah, was not for know. me. It wasn't me. I promise. Uh, first thing on the agenda. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shout out to Super Energy. Hey, I had to. I was just curious. Uh, first thing on the agenda, the Yankees uh, traded for Juan Soto. Uh, they acquired Soto from the Padres. Seven-player trade. Second time he's been traded in the last two years. They also received outfielder Trent Grisham from the Padres. Uh, San Diego received Michael Kinn. Uh, Broti. Broti. Why did I say? Broti. Yeah, that's not right. But yeah. It's close enough. Randy Vasquez, Drew Thorpe, and Kyle Higashioka. Uh, Clemmer, you're the baseball guy. Break it down for us. Yeah, I mean, Juan Soto is the closest thing this generation has to Ted Williams. So this is a major deal for the Yankees. The, the dark side of this Yankees, though, he's only signed for one year. Um, his agent is Scott Boris, so it's a good change. He might only have him for one year. It's a lot to give up for one year of a player, but Juan Soto is the real deal. He's that good. He has the best batting eye I've maybe ever seen. He's incredible, and he's only 25. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they wouldn't trade that much for him if it was a one-year rental, right? Like you never know. I mean, so I go back to 1997 because I'm old as fuck. Yeah. But the Red Sox uh, got Pedro Martinez. Same thing, winter meetings, one-year deal. But between that time and spring training, they signed him to a seven-year extension and mm -hmm. they end up winning a World Series. So it can work out. Uh, you gotta, the Yankees got to pay him. He's going to make $500 million, Juan Soto. Yeah. $500 million? When he's a free agent, because so, he's so young. How much did they get him for one for one year? Oh, it's uh, what are they making it, $20 million or something this year? Only $20 million? Yeah. Well, for a baseball. In baseball, the scale is just That's like crazy. call her daddy money. Yeah, that's yeah. per episode. For one year, and that's one Good year. And, uh, yeah, but he'll, he'll sign a 10-year, 12-year, $500 million contract when he's a free agent. For sure. He's 25. That's just so crazy to me that contracts in baseball like are that long. To yeah. think about, like, imagine if you signed a contract as a 25, like how much in your life has happened from 25 to 35? For a 10 year deal. And the crazy thing yeah. in baseball, it's all guaranteed. So if he just sucks, let's say he blows out his elbows and his knees and he sucks, he still gets paid. Oh, has anyone ever intentionally Carlo. blown out a knee? Like if I if I sign that and I fucking hated everything about my job as a baseball player, mm -hmm. just blow out your name. I'm sure there's something in your contract about it. Yeah, I don't know how they would determine that. Yeah, yeah, you can't like for instance a lot of those contracts like, prohibit skiing, prohibit like uh, like pick up basketball. There's a lot of things that they uh, yeah. and if you do that, then your money is that's the only time it's see ya. I asked Pat Beverly to play pickup and he was like, I can't. He's like, why? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I think the Sixers would frown negatively upon that yeah. if they saw me like shooting hoops on the Upper West Side. Yeah. The day before a game. Aaron that Boone. Makes sense. Exactly. The Yankees manager had a contract with the Yankees. He blew out his knee playing pickup basketball, and the Yankees cut him, and he did not. Get, he got no money. Mm -hmm. Good lord. Because it broke the contract. Can't do that. I wonder what Can they you do. Can you pull a photo of Juan Soto? Sorry, Ken Jack, to cut yeah. you off. I just yeah, show him. Show him Juan Soto. Want to see Juan Soto? He's beefy. He's yeah, beefy he is. Boy. Well, with a name like Soto, they, yeah, smash for sure. Right. Yeah, I think he's a, he's a handsome young man, handsome right? dude. Anywho, you were saying? Oh, saying, what do you think they do with Giancarlo? Giancarlo has no business. Giancarlo Stanton should not be in the major leagues. He has no business wearing a baseball uniform anymore. I like the guy. He was a great player in his prime. He is beyond washed up. Um, he has no business being on a roster. They owe him, I think, $25 million for four more years? 
Something yeah, like that. So, so he's gonna. They gotta do something with him. I don't know. He should not be playing baseball. He can't run anymore. You guys want him? No. That's, no. No one should want him. I feel like you could take it. Give us something small back. I, why? We don't. You, he shouldn't even be on a roster. He, Owen Cohen can definitely pay him. If he wasn't, if he didn't have a hundred million dollars, kind of waiting for him, that uh, teams had to pay him, he would not be on a roster. That's true. Uh, next thing up, the a Jaguars employee defrauded the team of twenty-two million dollars. Uh, he was a, his name is Meet Patel. He was the manager of financial planning. He was accused of stealing more than twenty-two million dollars from the franchise between twenty nineteen and twenty-three by exploiting the organization's virtual credit card program. He bought two vehicles, including a Tesla Model Three, a condo on the beach, a designer watch worth ninety-five k. <laughs> Other money was allegedly used to gamble and purchase cryptocurrency. Uh, if convicted, he might be required to forfeit all the property uh, up to the amount of $22 million, as well as a lengthy prison sentence. I, in my head, I don't know how you think you get away with this. I am so on his side. I get yeah. that. I am not, like, most financial crimes occur at a lower level, unless it's, like, big-time Wall Street stuff. This is perfect. He probably got the job of their manager of financial planning, whatever, CFO, whatever, and was like, I'm actually going to do this. Who's above me? Yeah. The board? What are they going to look at? This is like, I'd like to see a photo of a mint too. $22 million though. I guess I'm just curious. How do you like siphon it out? Well, the NFL used so much money. It just shows you how rich the NFL is. I wonder if they didn't really miss $22 million. Oh, he's young. He's pretty young, dude. Yeah. I need photos of everyone like a fucking child. He did this. He did this. It took him four years to get caught. Yeah, it took him a while. And I just, I don't know how you get away. He was it's buying right. crazy shit. Yeah. What yeah. was it? The, the uh, crit, what was it? credit card something yeah it was a virtual credit card program which i guess it makes an easy way to like siphon off money but i just you're right in that it's very unique that like he's in a middle amount of fraud he's not like right. made off like oh my god this guy's defrauding billions from people it's like it's a very middling amount of like it's and it's also not like defrauding old people you know it's, oh well, i guess i read it wrong he's a manager uh so he's like a middle yeah, amount of power too yeah all right so the jaguars are just stupid that's you also this place twenty two million dollars. If you if you could get away with it, would you do it? Not at Barstool, but if you could like defraud no. like a major bank or something. I would be knowing so, you would just go to a white collar prison for like. I'd well, be so afraid of getting caught. Yeah, me. No, too. not if like if you're, guilt. you're guaranteed to get caught. And well, it's not the guilt. Like if I, I get defraud a bank, worry, the fear, I guess. If I get defraud like like you know Bank of America and get away with it or something like that, and like no one is harmed, no real people, just the bank is harmed. I'm like, yeah, yeah fine, whatever. Why would I care? But, like, this case, like, I feel like you're just going to get caught. Like, it's so, all the roads lead directly to you. Even if you don't get right? caught, you're waiting for that knock on the door the rest of your life. And that's something yeah. I couldn't live with because I just. And for what? A fucking Tesla? It's just so I, hard to commit crime. Condo in the beach sounds cool. Like, it's not a condo. I want my own house if I have that much, right? A condo. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. If you're defrauding millions, you may as well, yeah, you, you should own property. Yes. Like full, you should get a backyard, I think, if you're defrauding right. millions. <laughs> well, maybe he didn't want the upkeep. Yeah. Lost of the upkeep. I, I think it's just impossible to commit crime in general now. Mm -hmm. There's too much of a paper trail. I would love to be a successful criminal. Yeah, I wouldn't just, it be sick? It takes too much planning. We had a big conversation on the bracket about this, um, about what story you would loot if you could get away with it. Again, Ooh. again, another thing, provided that like nobody is harmed, you're not robbing like a mom and pop. I'd be okay with some people getting harmed if it wasn't <laughs> serious. Uh, Clemmer said he'd loot a travel agency. I, or experience. I, I like you, would experiences. you would loot a travel agency? Well, I said, I, the I, said I have a hard time. I, I, there's nothing really I want that I would go loot a store for, a retail store. But I would love more experiences. So, yeah, I, I would loot it. Yeah, I'd just take yeah, plane tickets and go but for But looting implies, like, taking something physical out of a store. So you're going to take, like, a fucking oh, yeah, a a, a gateway yeah. computer out of a thing? Yeah. He says he has a new. He needs a new couch. So he'd have, like, you get a couple people and go get, like, go a, help me get a new couch. Ikea mm -hmm. or whatever. Dude, like ro like a watch, not Rolex store, like yeah. anything expensive. Oh, that's a good one, a nice watch. And then you that's can just good. sell those. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. else is even Again, more expensive than like just a jewelry store, like Cartier, like De Beers, yeah. like Tiffany's I don't know, or Tiffany's? Yeah. yeah, and they steal from all over the place, De Beers, so. That's right, yeah. De Beers. De Beers. Uh, that's it for the Jaguars, though. Uh, Jamal Adams versus Connor Hughes. Uh, if you guys hadn't seen this before, uh, Seattle Seahawks defensive end, or defensive back, rather. Jamal Adams got burned for a touchdown in the game winning, uh, for, to win the game against the Cowboys. Um, NFL reporter Connor Hughes quoted the video of Adams with just the word yikes, which is really nothing. It's not like an insulting really thing. No. Just one word is, oh, yikes. Uh, and, and Jamal Adams was upset and then quoted it with a picture of Connor Hughes' wife with the word yikes. And now he's been double downing <laughs> it. And like, the crazy thing is, I think Connor Hughes' wife is a pretty girl. Yeah, like I don't get the yikes. I think, pretty regular looking lady. Like, yeah, I think she's a nice looking girl. Like I don't, I don't get the, I don't like that. I don't know. I don't let's get. Do, it. Let's zoom in on that mug there. Just like a regular looking yeah. person. Like, yeah, I don't see. 
Oh, this great. feels like a tr this feels like this whole topic feels like a trick. And then he doubled down, right? And he's like, uh, he's like, oh, what was the follow up tweet by Adams? He's like, oh, you mess with the bull, you get the hordes or something, some stupid athlete bullshit. Like, okay, yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah. When others yeah. go low, when others I... go low, I go lower. And it's like, dude, you oh. responded to like, and it's a, a reporter. With a nuke. Yeah, like, you go after a reporter's wife. He's not in the public eye. Like it's not yeah. like he, it's not you're going you're critiquing she like a Kim Kardashian. Yeah, it's like you're going after someone who's like putting themselves out there. He's a piece of shit. This and, guy. It's not, it's, and on top of all that, if the reporter had been like, "Hey Jamal Adams, I hope you fucking die. I hope you never play football again. I hope you, you suck ass. I hate you." Yeah, sure, you go nuclear back. But he didn't go nuclear. And there's he a baby in the photo. How did the tweet do? Did it rip? Yeah, rip. And people were very on his, against they, him, though. People oh, were, yeah. So they, so yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Everyone was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you, dude?" Like, Which is shocking for Twitter. You'd think it would be the other way around. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he. And, and this guy's just a known piece of shit, right? He, the, yeah, I know, he used to play for the yeah. Jets. He was then traded to the Seahawks, Seahawks and yeah. the Jets got a ton oh. back. It was like the greatest trade in Jets history. Yeah. Um, and so now he's kind of like a punchline in New York. Maybe that kind of bothers him. I don't he's know. Punchline everywhere, to be honest. And, well, then, yeah, and, and now, now he's even more. I guess so. he's a dick too. On top of it. Like, imagine if like you said to me like, "Oh, that blog you wrote, like, I don't agree with it," and I go, "Your wife is gross." Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. What? what? Yeah. yeah. It's like, Fuck and that's guy. like the again, it's like the nuclear option is to go after someone's like wife. It's fucking crazy. I guess a kid would maybe be worse but i like want to like it too like i want Me to too. be on his side to be like this is funny but it's just not again if the reporter had gone nuclear then yeah it might be funnier but it's not because he just said he yikes to a video of him get, again getting burned he got destroyed and lost his team the game so <laughs> it's I, don't, I just don't get it yeah he said Did that guy respond one. the reporter actually don't know did the reporter respond i don't think he made like a direct comment but the new york yeah. media Tackled him like Brian. Yeah, like, everyone, awesome. everyone uh, went after. You Jamal challenged Adams. him for rough and rowdy. Yeah, once you, once you retire, which I assume is going to be the next year, Jamal Adams, like you can come do rough and rowdy against a reporter. Let's see. Yeah, nothing great back. Uh, there was a video out there. China's invented invisibility. Cord, Hell yeah! Uh, renowned Chinese scientist. I still don't understand, like what I'm seeing. The videos are incredible. It's because it's invisible. You can't see anything. I know, but it's like. That's based. How does that work? The very end of the video is the part where I'm just like, the guy's in the woods and he, he yeah, literally uses yeah, yeah. it as a cloak and he goes away. Now, are we just getting, are we getting- This is fake. This is fake, right? No, it's real as hell. China Look introduced an invisibility. First of all, it's not a cloak. It's well, a that's no, no, it becomes a cloak at the end. Uh, How do they do it? Like, this is not impressive at all to me because I don't really know what it, like- this Yeah, is that could be like the end. Yeah, that's just the thing. The end though with the guy- Yeah. That guy is every serial killer from Texas. Look at, I don't understand, like, what is the technology, like, how does this work? I know it's no, like This a, guy, watch this. And he even drops it, because he's kind of Can a we buy one? Yeah. No, I would assume no, not yet. But watch this. This is, this, this is wild. I mean. That's crazy. This has to be fake. This, I think this technology needs to be the most restricted thing that's ever existed. Because there are going to be some creepy dudes getting their hands on these. Talk about being a, talk about being a criminal. This is all yeah. it takes. Yeah, exactly. How does it work? Uh, so uh, it's a translucent sheet composed of what appears to be a unique material. Yeah, well, no, yeah no kidding. He's like a hotshot Chinese scientist. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Small <laughs> convex <laughs> syndro syndrochil... Hotshot Chinese scientist. allow light to be refracted regularly. So. That is, many materials have been used to... I like how reading it like we're going to understand it. Yeah. That's distorting, we distorting our visual we're field. Never so I guess out. it's not really, obviously it's not really gone. It's, it's the way our eyes work. I guess it distorts our field to make us, make it look like he's invisible. Yeah. I want one. I, I mean, I think everyone would want one. What's the first thing you would do with an invisibility cloak? Scare my, scare my fiance. I'd scare the shit scare out of her fiance. It. It'd be so fun. Like, I don't want to do anything actually nefarious with it. Other than jerk off in public. Other than jerk off in public, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What would you would you just sneak into like Met State, like the City Field? I don't know. Drums, no, because I want to see. I don't know. You're on the field as yeah. the game's well, going on. Yeah, that would be cool. That's a, that's a good one. Appear out of nowhere and just yeah. poke yeah. the ball out. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. Game. Again. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even think about that. Just like that is a great one. Place. I like. That. I just want to see like how much I can get away with. Not even like yeah. weird shit. Be like how like invisible am I? Yeah. How actually invisible am yeah. I? How much can I move around? Like, can I take like if you take a Gatorade off the shelf, like? Can you just have it? Yeah. Does it most, also go invisible? Yeah. What are the most exclusive things that you could like that are hardest tickets to get like in the world? Like, what are the hardest things to like go? Taylor see? Swift tickets, I guess. Or? Taylor, like, that's that literally Taylor Swift tickets. And, yeah. Like, Sneak into a Taylor Swift concert. Yeah, I guess I would just yeah. sneak backstage. Yeah. He's sitting next to Taylor Swift. Sneak right. into her house. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
Dude, no, no, there's no limit to what you could do. It's just scary. And I don't love that China has it and we don't yet. We need like a musk or whatever to make it. You just exposed the bottom half naked. Genitals <laughs> 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 Not genitals! Arguably like the most horrifying half of human physiology is oh, just the foul. male bottom half. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it depends on who you're asking. Yeah. It's fair. A woman went into an MRI machine with a gun and shot herself, not to death, like just shot herself in the ass cheek. Uh, inadvertent discharging, uh, that's a funny term, uh, uh, occurred on June 28th when an armed woman entered the MRI room with a concealed handgun as she was about to enter. Unnamed woman, I should say. Un oh, yeah, true, not unarmed. Uh, the gun was attracted to the powerful magnet in the MRI and fired off a single round into her butt cheek. The doctor described the entry and exit wound as small and superficial. Um, why would you bring a gun in an MRI machine? It's Texas, brother. That's what you gotta do. It's because it's my right. Well, like, they, they, they <laughs> Who get are you, you to say? How do you, you can't even get into the MRI unless you're like in one of the, the what do you call it? Um, Don't they make you take thing. like all, all your, your clothes jewelry off. and your jewelry too, yeah. right? Like, yeah, but you're not gonna tell, you're not gonna tell the doctor you're packing heat. Well, they, like if I'm, if I tell the doctor that I have a gun, then what if he has a gun? Ooh. And then everyone's and then you're, right. you're, and then disarmed. you're unarmed in a situation where someone else is armed. Yeah, that's fair. But I, right? I, when you put on the gown, you put all your shit in a locker. Like this is in Brazil, so they might have different rules for MRIs. Yeah, it's also true. And it's they, not like we're at Mount Sinai, or maybe we are. <laughs> I just I just don't understand why we'd want to bring a gun in. You know what I mean? And apparently, I, not the first time this has happened, which makes it crazier. I also didn't know magnets could make a gun discharge. Like if you walk up, if you walk by a cop with a really powerful magnet, his gun will just go. Poof. I guess side. if it was like loaded and the safety's off, like it just pulls the trigger. Yeah, I guess so. That's yeah. MRI magnets are like crazy though. Yeah, they're yeah. super strong. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. That's why they make you like strip down yeah. everything. Yeah. And what kind of gun it was? In that article, apparently, like th this is not crazy, uncommon that accidents happen. Like butt plugs apparently go crazy in uh, MRI machines. People have people shit. leave them in and then what? they just like rip out of their butt. Metal butt plugs? Yeah. I guess some people really want like the extra experience of metal. Versus plastic? Hard plastic? Rubber. Rubber? Rubber makes more sense, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, but yeah. Silicone? You have uh, any experience with butt plugs? Well, Chris. <sighs> yes, I do. <laughs> Positive or negative? Indifferent. Okay. Indifferent, uh, yeah. I'm apoplectic versus any sort of butt plug. Yeah. We uh, used to have a game on our, out and about where one of us would have a butt plug in and the producer would buzz it. Yeah. Really? No, not really. Oh. <laughs> but we, we thought about doing it. <laughs> I, I was talking about it. That was like something we wanted to do for a while, but maybe we could do it on the next rundown. Yeah. John Rich has the remote. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, the, that's what they should do for the next uh, the PMT stream thing they're doing. Oh, that's what they should do. Themselves. Put Give like uh, Max one of those like, controllable vibrating butt plugs. They give Max a traffic cone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's our topics. That's the show after show. One of the first things I wanted to just talk about was this, in this today's episode of The Bracket, uh, Tommy Smokes had a take where he said that sushi is considered Thai food. I, I love Thai food. Mm -hmm. Pad Thai, CU noodles, I'll throw sushi in there. I love, uh, what? You, you get sushi at a Thai you restaurant. You can. Uh, it's, it's not Thai food. Japanese, it's Japanese food. Thai food is sushi. You better tread light, lightly. Ken Jack is oh my about God. to <laughs> <laughs> murder you. <laughs> I mean, whatever. When you go to a Thai restaurant, you can get sushi. Uh, yeah. that's, that's, that's Thai just, food. It's, it's not it's Thai, Thai restaurant. Oh, I'm Thai sorry. The Japanese f***ing own sushi. Like, other people can make sushi. They do. They, it's they their thing. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Other people can make sushi. You know if they like, can, but it doesn't make it. But, it's a, but when other people make it, it's still a Japanese food, yes. right? Correct. Yes. I'm actually, on t I'm actually I'm coming around to Tommy's side. Oh, if, you can, if you can get it at a Thai restaurant, that's fine. And you talked about it a little bit, I think, in the rundown. But what, I just, what's your take on this no yeah clearly definitely, no definitely not john rich agreed yeah i was trying to make a case for it i mean i think he's right at most thai restaurants you can get but it's not i think it's just thai because food. it's both asian food that's yeah, why he's that's the comparison that he's it was doing. based it's based in japan it's japanese food. yeah I, I do think i agree with you i don't think he's as crazy as some people are making him out to be he is absolutely but the I mean, it's not crazy i think it's stupid he said ja he said sushi is thai food but he also but also if you're at a thai restaurant a lot of times there's sushi on the menu that's fine but that doesn't, yeah, but make, it, doesn't make it thai food you can order like chicken wings and fries at a Chinese restaurant. That doesn't mean that that's not Chinese food. Yeah, if I go that's to that's a very solid point. A lot of like can't bars, argue against. Yeah. bars have pizza. Doesn't mean it's American food. It's still Italian food. It was yeah from Italy. Do we want to get smokes on? No, I, I'm so I'm so sick of it because he's still oh. defending it and it's pissing me off. Yeah. It's just so <laughs> it's hard to defend it without being kind of racist. <laughs> kind of is the opportunity, yeah. Uh, and last thing we have a Secret Santa about to go down like right after we wrap this. Uh, yeah, Jackie has organized this. Yep. Um, it's been she's had to email us. 
3,000 times. And they, every email is either a form that which is wrong and incorrect you can't access, <laughs> or a second form where <laughs> they ask for your phone number 15 times but no email, and then like you can't enter in your phone number. Right, they want your email. Yeah. Like, it says you, phone number, then they want your email though instead. You it's want your strange. email, no form to enter an email. No. It's just, it's yeah, I didn't get any emails. She yeah. just like came to my desk and was like, to and asked you? Yeah, I was like, it's, all right. It's been an absolute disaster. And then I, when I woke up this morning <laughs> and I come in at like, I out my door like nine and I stop and I'm like oh I forgot to bring my gift so I text Jackie and I'm like you should probably email people to let them know like bring your gift today and she's like oh yeah that's a good idea I'm like why are you in charge of this it's fucking crazy I gotta go buy my gift you, you haven't buy. bought your gift yet we got like about oh, like we it's I got over an hour I got an hour. over an hour yes yeah I, I guess yeah got some time I'm very interested to know you have it's gonna be a great gift with the potential for life-changing riches no I mean, I actually kind of have the same deal going on, and I don't know how it's going to work out. So you guys just get everyone scratch tickets? Is that what we're doing here? Yeah, that that's, the run, run. that's the rundown. <laughs> uh, that's the rundown. See you guys tomorrow, or next week, I don't know.